What's good? Welcome back to the show with Speakers Lab. The gang is back with Beaker and Lulu and Melly. Guys, we're back here. You know what it is because we're here for season three of Days Slow Max. Yo, you know what I always notice? You guys know how that that uh, golden play button, it's a mirror? Kind of freaky. <laughs> anyway, we're back here and guys, I finally did it. I gotta show you guys something. Uh, Well, that's not it. Wait a minute. Guys, you know how I keep telling you that we've been playing for a long time. This base was made a long time ago and I didn't exactly know what the date was where we started. I knew roughly when it was, but I didn't know the exact date. This is not gonna surprise any of you if you're a long time fan, but we have been playing for 2,000 896 days in a row. I just wanna let that sink in for a second. Guys, get your shades on, get your shoes off. I'm gonna show you how I found that number and I'm also gonna sh show you guys, I mean, what are we doing next? Like, what happens now? Like, what happens after you play 3,000 days in a row? Because days till max resumes in three, two, one. All right, guys, so let me show you something. Let me quit out of that and let me go back into Clash because I want to show you something. By the way, those bunnies are way too cute. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? It's cool. Guys, when you log into Clash, at least on on an on a iPad or an iPhone, uh, you see that up there. You see your game center. And that, I think it went away for a while, right? I didn't know where it was. I mean, it used to be the way that you switched your bases. Oh, there's seven things in the shop. We, <laughs> we got to check that out in a minute. But right now, guys, let me get a picture of that. I'm, I'm hopeless. The game center still exists and they have some old achievements in there or the achievements in the game, but they actually track what date you got them. Like, I don't think if you look in the, in the achievements in here, it doesn't tell you any dates, right? No, of course not. So guys, let me go back out. I think it's in settings. I think I just saw it somewhere. Where, uh, game center right there. So guys, let me go to the bottom. I saw it on the bottom just now. Right there. I remember that day and I honestly wish like I'll, I'll try to find a picture of me from back then because you wouldn't even recognize me. I mean, I was a completely different person. I was because I needed something back then to like distract me, just like something stupid and fun to do. And Clash was exactly that. And I will never forget that day because I was sitting on my couch looking out the window and I saw an ad for Clash. Guys, I never saw another ad for Clash in my life. It was like it was sent to me from Clash. Like, hey, we know you're going to be a hopeless, uh, <laughs> just a hopeless addict on this game in a good way. I mean, you know, I'm not, I have no complaints. I, I got to be a YouTuber, you know? So look, if you go up through these, it's really fun, guys. I mean, you'll see if you have iOS, I don't know how to do this on Android. If anybody has an Android and you know there's a way to do this, uh, let us know in the comments. Just I'll try to pin the comment just so like people can check it on there too. It might be similar, it might not, I don't know. Yo, I love this. So like, dude, I played every single day and I remember all this because I used to carry around an iPad mini in my pocket everywhere because I was terrible at playing on my phone. So I carried around an iPad mini and just constantly everywhere I went, I, I raided with that. 20, 30 raids a day, every day. Yo, that's funny right there, War Hero. That looks like that must have been when Clan Wars came out. That's actually when I met my girlfriend too. The beginning of 2014, that's so funny. And it's also around the same time I became a YouTuber, right? It's so weird. It's so weird. Anyway, guys, definitely check that out. And if you have a really interesting date when you started, like I'm kind of interested for you guys who started like a year ago or like two years ago, where are you at, dude? Like, like what even made you find Clash? I don't know, it's really interesting. But also the question I think a lot of people are gonna ask if they don't know us is like, why would you play every day? Like I, I wasn't a YouTuber the whole time. It wasn't about that. It was just because, I don't know, man. I just couldn't stop playing. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, there you have it. I have I just lost track of time completely by looking at old screenshots, man. I love it. It is so fun to reminisce about those, like the blue walls, you know, th the fact that we have just grown so much in that time and the game has too. We all have. It's it's pretty cool, man. It's pretty cool. So guys, let me get in here and do a raid. And by the way, we have got to mark this down that in a couple, oh wait, we don't have a clan castle. Guys, we got to mark this down because in a couple of days, well, a couple of weeks, we're gonna have the eighth anniversary of us playing Clash. And we got to do something fun for it, dude. We got to do something fun for it. Yo, what if we could schedule it so we had a big upgrade like that finish on the same day? I'd love that. Hey, we'll see. Yo. Okay, perfect, dude, this is the first search. So guys, I guess it's natural sometimes to think like, yo, seven, well, no, almost eight years of your life. Couldn't you have used that some other way? Like, I I, I know there's no way to actually uh, account for every single day, but guys, I'll play Clash for every single day because if there's ever a day where I don't play Clash, 
I mean, usually we're doing a video every day, but if there's a day I don't play Clash, I still have to get on and like say what's up to my clan mates or they're gonna text me and be like, are you dead? <laughs> so anyway guys, I guess the question is, what happens for the next, you know, 2,896 days or whatever? What are we gonna do? I will tell you right now that I have been telling myself for years, like, how do I put this? I, I always seem to tell myself like, dude, I don't know what's gonna happen next year, you know? I don't know if I'm still gonna love Clash next year. I don't know if I'm still gonna wanna do uh, Clash videos next year. And then that next year comes and you know what really happened? Okay guys, in 2017, I was getting really burned out on Clash. And uh, I mean, think about it. I had already been playing for years, but then, for some reason, at the beginning of ta uh, <laughs> Town Hall, at the beginning of, of 2019, we met. We made a goal with you guys. We said we wanted to do a video every day, rain or shine. We're going to get out here and do a video every day. And we have kept up with that for over two years now. And guys, we're not stopping. And so, for whatever reason, I know it doesn't exactly make sense. Whoa, the queen just saved herself. Weird. Uh, yeah, I know that doesn't exactly make sense as to why that would make Clash more fun, but it has. It has, and I think it's because we're doing it with you guys. I don't think the average person could, um, well, that's not true because I know I have friends who have played every day for just as long as me. Just as long. Basically, guys, all this is to say, you know, if you still love Clash like I do, just keep playing, dude. That's all we got to do. I think a lot of other YouTubers, I, I haven't felt this as much because like, you know, I still love Clash, but is that mine? I think a lot of other YouTubers have felt pressure to like play a different game because, oh, I've been playing Clash for so long, I gotta switch it up. We have done that in the past. We've played other games for fun and, and we've done vlogs for fun. And honestly, this was like a hybrid like vlog video in itself. And so I'm so happy to do stuff like that. And at the end of the day, I'm not gonna make any predictions because how can you, right? Like. Before Clan Wars, okay, think about this. When I started, Clan Wars didn't exist. All we did was farm. That's all I do now. <laughs> you just never know where the game's gonna go. And I'm honestly, right now, like I got my sights in Tunnel 14. I feel like that is gonna get us all really psyched up about Clash again. Not that, you know, I don't wanna say I'm not psyched up about Clash right now. I love the history. I love where we've, where we've come from. 2020, man, or really just the last 12 months, has just beat us all down, man. Being in, in, in this quarantine lifestyle, I feel like it has made us all like less creative and it just, you know how it is. I mean, some people thrive in it, some people don't. I feel like I'm right in the middle. You know what, you can't even think of like that. Maybe Days Till Max wouldn't exist if this all hadn't happened. Although Days Till Max started before, kind of-ish, at the same time, doesn't matter. Remind me on March 16th that it's my eighth birthday. How many days are in eight years? Eight years is 2000. Okay. Oh, I just spilled my water. Oh my goodness. Years. You know, guys, I was just thinking about the last time that I really wasn't doing videos for an extended period of time. It was that time I had I mean, it's tough to even say. It was, it was the time I had cancer. You guys remember? It was, a, it was in 2016. It was a long time ago now. It feels like a long time ago. But yeah, that was the last time that I took like a week of not doing videos. I think it was about a week. And then we haven't stopped since. And that is part of why we have played Clash every day as well. But guys, it goes more than that. I think it's kind of easy to say that Clash didn't start mobile gaming but they started good mobile gaming. And I, yes, there's a couple exceptions. Before Clash existed, there was some good game. I mean, honestly, I think the game I can remember from before Clash was like Plants vs. Zombies, right? Like big budget mobile games that were actually good, but the, the freemium type games that have taken over mobile gaming for better or worse, started with a company that actually knew what they were doing and had some heart and actually made, actually made a fun game. And you can talk all you want about like it's it's kind of a trap that's gonna that's gonna pull you in and take your time and your money. Well, 
Look at me, it did that for me. But at the same time, guys, I wouldn't be here today without it, clearly. I mean, literally, you know, I, it, it got me excited into gaming to the point where I wanted to become a YouTuber. Actually, my girlfriend, that was her idea. I think when I met her, I was like, yeah, I'm a really big deal in Clash of Clans. She's like, well, what's Clash of Clans? <laughs> it's a game. You should become a YouTuber. Seriously, she was, uh, yeah, the one, the one who pushed me to do that. I guess in closing, I just want to say, don't ever feel bad for loving a game for too long, you know what I mean? Like, as the world starts to, like, come back together, which I, I think is going to happen later this year, I think we're going to have a really good year. We got to keep doing what we love, and we also got to keep evolving forward. And I don't know what the next, like I said, 3,000 days are going to hold. Maybe sometimes we'll be doing vlogs. Maybe sometimes we'll be playing something else. But I am going to be playing Clash every day until the sun burns out. Well, I mean, I don't want to, like, say... Now, now I jinxed us all. Now the sun's going to burn out. You know what? I'm going to shut up. And for one final time today, get those shades on. Get those shoes off. Let's sign off, guys. Thank you to every one of you. Thank you to the bunnies. Thank you to my family, my girlfriend, who has uh, really made all this possible. Thank you to me for taking all those screenshots. Yeah. Anyway, we love you guys, and we will see you right here tomorrow. For 270 days till max. Wow. You said, okay, we'll see you guys then.